Hello beach lovers, it's me Jen and I wanted to take you on a tour of my art studio. Um, I hope you take the time to sit down and watch this. It's all the little ins and outs of all the things that I use in my art studio. And I hope you'll hang out with me for a little bit. I've been wanting to share this for a while. I meant to get it out last month, but it's here for you now. So let's go take a look. Okay, so as we enter the studio, the first thing you see is my desk. I have some notebooks. You may have seen me advertise these. I always get samples. I keep them here and then when I'm ready to use them, I'll pull them down and journal. This is my favorite section. I know it's a little bit dark, I apologize. I have a watercolor sketchbook, watercolor paints. Okay, also I have, this is a set of gouache paints, another sketchbook, and panels, which I think you'll be interested in this, which I just started with, um, mixed media artboards, which, so I like painting on these. The only thing that was wrong with these is I ordered them in the mail and they're slightly bowed, which I find a little bit disappointing. I don't know if you can see that there, but aside from that, this has been a lot of fun to paint on. All right, let's put that up. Okay, so I have these lights here. Not great for when I'm doing um, art tutorials because they're LEDs that flicker. I have another one here. But I do take these lights with me to art shows. And they're great at art shows. So I have uh, watercolor pencils and pens. I don't use them a lot. Pencils, I keep all of these in these little jars. Always need a spray bottle. This is an example of what artists do, which is purchase art supplies that we're not going to use but I still have this and want to use it and um, you know it's always fun to try something new I have no idea what to do with it so if you have any ideas let me know right. here on the side I have my gold leaf I have these little plastic containers these are my inserts that I put in cards or packages. And I have um, charms in some of these that I made that are going live. They should have gone live this weekend, but I didn't do the live countdown. So those are in there. I also have stickers that I send out or I take with me to shows. I have um, some art supplies, art supplies, <laughs> random stuff. So tape, measuring tape, you always need a measuring tape around. Pens that I use to sign my watercolors. And over here, I'm in the process of painting one of my manatees and if we were to turn this light on and the other light on, I would have both of those shining down as I film. So sitting here, if you've ever watched any of the, the videos of me painting some of these smaller pieces, this is the desk I sit at. I have my board here, so I have um, just some reminders. And then when I'm doing a project, I'll put everything that needs to happen and I'll mark it off as I do it. And this I used a lot last year for keeping track of my collection launches. I found this little calendar and it was great. It was perfect for that. Help me keep track of everything. I was keeping track of everything I was posting. So I purchased this little art cart about what, when I painted and reorganized this art room. So I keep a lot of my mediums, glue, varnish, gloss mediums in here. I have this for my pens and my eraser, just some random stuff that I use a lot. My camera equipment I keep down here and 
my tablet, another tripod, uh, a phone charger. <laughs> um, this is more camera equipment. As we turn to the right, I have my painting apron. You may have seen this. The little bag is my little Victoria's Secret bag that I end up putting my watercolors in. So it's just the right size to hold some paper, watercolors, water in there. It's nice and lightweight. I love it. Great. And as we continue over to the right, we have a little bit of decor. So I decided to keep a lot of my papers in this box, label paper, and I really love it for this purpose. I have all kinds of stuff in here, so let's go through it. We have some graphite transfer paper, which works great, I love it. Um, some holographic laminate paper laminating pouches. I use these for my tags when I go to art shows. Tracing paper. I don't really use it, but I have it if I need it. Self-adhesive laminating sheets. I use those for stickers. Laminating pouches can be used for lots of other things. Let's see. My vinyl sticker paper. If you've never used it, this was recommended and I love it. It's good, good quality. Holographic sticker paper. I found that it was very hard to see the designs with the sticker paper, so I don't really use it. Velvet fine art paper. I use this for printing out any of my prints. It's eight and a half by 11. Very good quality paper if you're gonna sell art prints at home. More vinyl sticker paper, white, frosty clear. Okay, so that is only really good if you're not using white in your design anywhere. Or you have a sublimation printer, I guess, is what can print the white. So those really didn't work for me, but I may end up with a design that I could use the clear ones on. And let's see, this is for the uh, transfer paper. Okay, and then I have this little cabinet and really random stuff that I have yet to really do anything with, um, except for these. Let's see. All oh, right, so whenever I do um, sh shipping, these are my thank you cards, pre-stamped thank you. My business cards, um, more, more cards that I can send out. Uh, packing tape, I ordered customized packing tape quite a while ago with my old logo, but I still use it. I have some little bags that I can put my stickers in. I have a few more art supplies here. Let's start from the left. So these pens I bought, I think, at like a Ross or a Marshalls. And can I just say, these are too bright. I really wanted some nice markers and the colors look nice here, but they're even brighter than what they look. So. It's not exactly what I wanted, so I don't really use those. Probably should get rid of them. All right, we have some oil paints that I forgot about. These are the watercolors that are in the palette that I bought that's plank, and these have been very nice, these Reeves watercolors. I have some twine that I use to tie up my paintings. Um, a candle that I use for photos, and it smells wonderful too. Mmm, smells like the beach. And gold paper clips, which I also use in my photographs. I have some vinyl. I don't really use my Cricut machine for vinyl. I do that, like I've made a couple of projects as gifts. I don't use it in my art. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side. Here I have things that I take with me to art shows. Um, these are my, my tent walls are in that bag. I put art prints in here. I made my own little art print holder. Um, tent walls. I got this shelving system about a year ago and it's come in so handy. It's made it so much easier when going through my bins. So all of these bins I take with me to art shows. 
I have an idea of what's in my bins because I almost always pack them the same way so I don't have to go through everything if I'm looking for something. And these have come in handy for when I do resin that I can just stack them on top of each other as long as it's something small because I don't do big res resin projects. I do either these 8x10s or my ornaments. So I bought some of these at Target. They're just acrylic trays and they've come in handy. It helps to keep the dust off, it helps to keep it contained. And then I use the top rack for storage. And this side is where I'm storing my paintings. So I keep my paintings in these bags and I'll show you. If you ever see these, I do believe I get these at Michael's. And then you can see I store my paintings in there and I can fit four to five paintings. And then when I go to art shows, this only has a couple in it. It's really easy to carry in lightweight as long as you know everything's canvas. So I've got a few of those. Well, I hope you've been able to hang out with me so far. We've still got a ways to go and this is a good reminder of how much stuff I have and that it's a good idea to go through this every once in a while. And if there's something you're really not going to use, maybe just go ahead and get rid of it and make room for things that you will use. All right, this is the reason why it's good to have storage. This is my laminating machine. I only pull it out when I use it. This is drills. This is where my microphone is supposed to be. Extra bins for when I do resin work. I bought this and I have all my ornament supplies in there because I don't need to do that all the time. I needed to be able to tuck it away. Storage for prints, prints, mats. Okay, this bin holds my acrylic paint markers and some small acrylic paints. I don't use them all the time, but I have them and I if I'm gonna paint with acrylics at a show, I'm gonna bring this bin. All right, so now we're over to the resin section. So I've got my resin, my spray bottle, my blowtorch, gloves and essentials in there. All right, so this is a gallery wall hanging system that I purchased when my husband and I decided to turn this into an art studio. And what's really nice about it is that I can rearrange it. Here, I'll show you. So I can take this off and I can move these up and down. See? So I can make it whatever height I need it to be. These are movable. So when I'm ready to set up a new gallery wall, I can adjust it for what I need, which is what I did here. I adjusted it so that I'm able to fit all of these on. That painting is drying its oil and it's probably done now. Um, the others, I don't really have a place for it and I don't want the frames to get wrecked so they're up on the wall for right now. Um, all right, so we've got a little bit of stuff going on here. So this surfboard is the sign that I use at my shows. Sometimes I forget to take it with me. I don't know why. Painting, that's the big easel I paint at. If you've ever watched my YouTube videos, that's this is the aluminum easel that I use. And what I really like about it is that this is adjustable, so it can go up or down. And there was also, you may have seen it in the closet, a piece that attaches here to extend this so that I can do larger pieces. I really like this table because it has plugs on the back. If I need to bring it into the middle of the room to paint, I'm able to do that. And I could still plug in my light source and have it with me in the middle of the room, so. Okay, we're on the final wall now, and this is the pegboard my hubby helped me put up for my acrylic paints. And I really like being able to see my acrylic paints out, and this, you know, hooking them like this, you can see what I'm using these for, is great because it helps the paint all go to the bottom, so I'm not like getting yucky paint. 
Right now I'm working on a series, don't really have a place to keep them and I don't want them to get dusty so I've just got a box full of some paintings coming soon to a website near you. Let's see. And I've got this cabinet, which was actually the first piece of storage that I've had for my art. And I cannot believe that I've gone from this storage and just sitting in the living room to everything I have now. <laughs> so funny. All right. So I can't remember why I had these out. I probably just need to find a place for them or I was deciding whether or not to get rid of them. I don't know. Let me know if you're interested and I can always put them up for sale on my website. But I think it's about time for those to go. You might like this. I bought this online. Let me show you. I'll put it down here so you can see what it looks like. There we go. The clamp comes in handy for being able to use my tablet for reference photos and have it connect to my tripod or my table so I can have it close by. I love it. All right, paint brushes, which I love to keep them in little jars. I don't know why, it's just a thing. It's probably a better way to do it, but this is what I like. Inks, I haven't used yet. I'm excited to try them. I bought some acrylic inks a few weeks ago. I just purchased this palette and it's a gray glass palette. I'm excited to use it. Brand new, I haven't used it yet. Right now I'm just keeping a piece of cardboard over it to keep it from getting dusty. Here's my microphone that should be in the box. And right now this holds is holding some glass that I haven't decided if I'm going to use it. My Cricut, which I love my Cricut, but I don't think I've gotten my money's worth out of it yet. Maybe one day. All right, let's look in the drawers. What's in Jennifer's drawers? Random, random sponges, paints I don't use. I think my daughter left these behind. Uh, more random things for my pegboard. This is going to be the scraper for this. Webcam. Another webcam and cables. More twine. Cables. Not sure what that is. Let's see. Knife. Oh, this is what I wrapped around my cards to make them look Christmassy. More scissors, another measuring tape, and frog tape. Every art studio needs frog tape. Okay, so on this side, random stuff. I have some, looks like some frames drop cloth. This used to be on my floor, but I put these down instead since my grandchildren don't need them anymore. Towels. Definitely need towels. A clipboard with some reference photos. Glass. I know you've been wanting to, to see this. I saved the best for last. So this is a bucket of gesso. <laughs> this is some gold paint. Um, that I purchased back when I was trying to do fluid painting. Let's see. This is... Ah, this is glass for the project I'm working on now. Container. This is glass um, that I purchased on Amazon pre-stained and pre-crushed and I use some of these on the ornaments. So here I've got all different types of glass. Green, brown, that's empty. Got some glass beads. Not for making jewelry, just plain glass beads. I'm guessing they're leftovers. Different colored glass. We have these. These I crush and turn into crush glass, which is what is in these. So some of the glass I crush myself, some of it I purchase now. Um, I do like crushing glass. However, 
it has kind of a toxic smell when I heat it up to crush it. So I'm kind of leaning more towards buying glass that's pre-crushed, one, to save time, and two, to save me from inhaling any fumes. But that is the glass section. We have one last thing to look at. Now I've already shown you my Cricut, and then I put some hooks under my desk for my Cricut mats. And then I have a ruler just in case. I also keep a yardstick up at my windowsill. You can't see that. I have white curtains that serve as a filter for when I'm YouTubing. And then as I've been moving it around the studio, there is my tripod and camera that I use for YouTube videos. <laughs> you thought we were done, didn't you? All right, there is more, but in different areas. <laughs> Let's go take a look. One of my guest bedroom holds more. Now it holds my wetsuits for surfing, random stuff, but I have some paintings in here, prints. Um, these are supplies I use for taking photos for my shop. Um, I've got more canvases that I haven't used yet. This little storage container holds just random stuff that I might use for photographs for my Etsy store or like you can see Christmas cards in there. So just a few little things that I don't use very often. All right, over here I have the map of places that my art has gone. I have a little bulletin board that I made with my friends. I have some reminders up here. This is my Epson printer, XP970, and I keep extra ink down here. And paper, for random paper, certificates for certificates of authenticity. These are my plant babies. Say hello. Hello. We love you. Um, over here on this shelf, I have my sketchbooks and my notebooks and then some business books and lots and lots of cables and then I've got a few hard drives that I store my videos and pictures on. Oh, oh, I have these boxes for shipping out paintings and then inside my closet in my office, more boxes for shipping, shipping tape. I bought this bubble wrap Stuff that I think is gonna be great. We did a test, it worked great. I can't wait to use it again. I bought this teal foam because it's similar to my company colors. Um, and it's great for small items that I'm packing. White shipping boxes for prints. This is for ornaments and some random bubble wrap in case I need it. And of course, tape gun. Seems like I've come a long way I've got a lot of stuff. This, I think, is the first time I've really worked hard for my art business, and I'm still trying to get it off the ground, still doing my best to get it going and get the word out, and all the art shows in our area have changed. I'm still trying to find my place here, but in the meantime, I'm just painting like it's all going to sell. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. I hope it inspires you to find a little bit of space and figure out new ways to organize your stuff. Or if you have a better way for me to do something, I'd love to hear it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And maybe I'll see you in the water. Bye. I have an idea of what's in my bins because I almost always pack them the same way so I don't have to go through everything if I'm looking for something. And... These have come in handy for when I do resin that I can just stack them on top of each other as long as it's something small because I don't do big res resin projects. I do either these 8x10s or my ornaments. So I bought some of these at Target. They're just acrylic trays and they've come in handy. It helps to keep the dust off. It helps to keep it contained. And then I use the top rack for storage. And this side is where I'm storing my paintings. 
So I keep my paintings in these bags and I'll show you. If you ever see these, I do believe I get these at Michael's. And then you can see I store my paintings in there and I can fit four to five paintings. And then when I go to art shows, this only has a couple in it. It's really easy to carry and lightweight as long as you know everything's canvas. So I've got a few of those. This is a good reminder of how much stuff I have and that it's a good idea to go through this every once in a while. And if there's something you're really not gonna use, maybe just go ahead and get rid of it and make room for things that you will use. All right, this is the reason why it's good to have storage. This is my laminating machine. I only pull it out when I use it. This is drills. This where my microphone is supposed to be. Extra bins for when I do resin work. I bought this and I have all my ornament supplies in there because I don't need to do that all the time. I needed to be able to tuck it away. Storage for prints, prints, mats. Okay, this bin holds my acrylic paint markers and some small acrylic paints. If I'm going to paint with acrylics at a show, I'm going to bring this bin. All right, so now we're over to the resin section. So I've got my resin, my spray bottle, my blowtorch, gloves and essentials in there. All right, so this is a gallery wall hanging system that I purchased when my husband and I decided to turn this into an art studio. And what's really nice about it is that I can rearrange it. Here, I'll show you. So I can take this off and I can move these up and down. See? So I can make it whatever height I need it to be. These are movable. So when I'm ready to set up a new gallery wall, I can adjust it for what I need, which is what I did here. I adjusted it so that I'm able to fit all of these on. That painting is drying its oil and it's probably done now. Um, the others, I don't really have a place for it and I don't want the frames to get wrecked so they're up on the wall for right now. All right, so we've got a little bit of stuff going on here. So this surfboard is the sign that I use at my shows. Sometimes I forget to take it with me. I don't know why. Painting, that's the big easel I paint at. If you've ever watched my YouTube videos, that's this is the aluminum easel that I use. And what I really like about it is that this is adjustable. So it can go up or down. And there was also, you may have seen it in the closet, a piece that attaches here to extend this so that I can do larger pieces. Okay, we're on the final wall now. And this is the pegboard my hubby helped me put up for my acrylic paints. And I really like being able to see my acrylic paints out and this hooking them like this. You can see what I'm using these for is great because it helps the paint all go to the bottom so I'm not like getting yucky paint. Right now I'm working on a series, don't really have a place to keep them and I don't want them to get dusty so I've just got a box full of some paintings coming soon to a website near you. Let's see, and I've got this cabinet which was actually the first piece of storage that I've had for my art. And I cannot believe that I've gone from this storage and just sitting in the living room to everything I have now. <laughs> so funny. I can't remember why I had these out. I probably just need to find a place for them or I was deciding whether or not to get rid of them. I don't know. Let me know if you're interested and I can always put them up for sale on my website. But I think it's about time for those to go. Paint brushes, which I love to keep them in little jars. I don't know why. It's just a thing. It's probably a better way to do it, but this is what I like. Inks I haven't used yet. I'm excited to try them. I bought some acrylic inks a few weeks ago. I just purchased this palette and it's a gray glass palette. I'm excited to use it. Brand new. I haven't used it yet. 
Right now I'm just keeping a piece of cardboard over it to keep it from getting dusty. Here's my microphone that should be in the box. My Cricut, which I love my Cricut, but I don't think I've gotten my money's worth out of it yet. Maybe one day. All right, let's look in the drawers. What's in Jennifer's drawers? Random, random sponges, paints I don't use. I think my daughter left these behind. Uh, more random things for my pegboard. This is gonna be the scraper for this. Webcam, another webcam and cables. More twine, cables, not sure what that is. Let's see, a knife. Oh, this is what I wrapped around my cards to make them look Christmassy. More scissors, another measuring tape, and frog tape. Every art studio needs frog tape. Okay, so on this side, random stuff. I have some, looks like some frames, drop cloth. This used to be on my floor, but I put these down instead since my grandchildren don't need them anymore. Towels, definitely need towels. A clipboard with some reference photos. Glass, I know you've been wanting to, to see this. I saved the best for last. So this is a bucket of gesso. <laughs> this is some gold paint um, that I purchased back when I was trying to do fluid painting. Let's see, this is, ah, this is glass for the project I'm working on now. This is glass um, that I purchased on Amazon pre-stained and pre-crushed and I use some of these on the ornaments. So here I've got all different types of glass. Got some glass beads. Not for making jewelry, just plain glass beads. So I'm guessing they're leftovers. Different colored glass. We have these. These I crush and turn them into crushed glass which is what is in these. So some of the glass I crush myself, some of it I purchase now. Um, I do like crushing glass. However, it has kind of a toxic smell when I heat it up to crush it. So I'm kind of leaning more towards buying glass that's pre-crushed, one, to save time, and two, to save me from inhaling any fumes. But, that is the glass section. We have one last thing to look at. Now I've already shown you my Cricut. And then I put some hooks under my desk for my Cricut mats. I have white curtains that serve as a filter for when I'm YouTubing. And then as I've been moving it around the studio, there is my tripod and camera that I use for YouTube videos. There is more, but in different areas. <laughs> Let's go take a look. One of my guest bedroom holds more. Now it holds my wetsuits for surfing, random stuff, but I have some paintings in here, prints. Um, these are supplies I use for taking photos for my shop. Um, I've got more canvases that I haven't used yet. All right, over here I have the map of places that my art has gone. I have a little bulletin board that I made with my friends. I have some reminders up here. This is my Epson printer, XP970, and I keep extra ink down here. And paper for random paper, certificates for certificates of authenticity. These are my plant babies. Say hello. Hello. We love you. Um, over here on this shelf, I have my sketchbooks and 
my notebooks and then some business books and lots and lots of cables and then I've got a few hard drives that I store my videos and pictures on. Oh, oh, I have these boxes for shipping out paintings. And then inside my closet in my office, more boxes for shipping, shipping tape. I bought this bubble wrap stuff that I think is gonna be great. We did a test, it worked great. I can't wait to use it again. I bought this teal foam because it's similar to my company colors um, and it's great for small items that I'm packing. White shipping boxes for prints. This is for ornaments and some random bubble wrap in case I need it and of course tape gun. Seems like I've come a long way and I'm still trying to get it off the ground, still doing my best to get it going. and get the word out and all the art shows in our area have changed. I'm still trying to find my place here, but in the meantime, I'm just painting like it's all going to sell. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. I hope it inspires you to find a little bit of space and figure out new ways to organize your stuff. Or if you have a better way for me to do something, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And maybe I'll see you in the water. Bye.